Did you know that password attacks have been and continue to be a common way for cybercriminals to gain access to corporate data and systems? A password attack is when hackers try to sneak into your accounts either by guessing or stealing your login credentials. A big issue is that no matter how many emails employees get from IT explaining what makes a good password, many of them use the same basic password for multiple platforms. Hello again everyone and welcome back to Heimdall's YouTube channel. I am Antonia and in today's video I will talk about the most common types of password attacks and the most effective ways to reduce the risk of one causing damage to your organization. Imagine trying every possible key on a lock until it opens. That's what a brute force attack is. It involves trying all possible password combinations until the correct one is found. These attacks exploit users' tendencies to have short passwords which speed up their success rate. Dictionary attacks. In these attacks, malicious actors attempt to access a system by consistently trying all the words in a dictionary or a predefined list of common passwords to guess a user's password rather than making every possible combination. Credential stuffing. In this type of attack, threat actors use previously stolen or leaked credentials to attempt unauthorized access to various online accounts, betting on the fact that many individuals reuse passwords across multiple websites and services. In a phishing attack, malicious actors deceive victims into providing their credentials by mimicking legitimate websites or sending deceptive emails that prompt users to enter their login information. Once entered, the attacker captures the credentials. This attack involves the use of a keylogger, a type of malicious software or hardware that records every keystroke made by a user. This way, cybercriminals capture sensitive information like passwords, a usernames, credit card numbers, and other private data as the user types them on their device. A hybrid attack combines the power of dictionary and brute force methods to guess passwords, covering even more possible combinations. Have you ever considered testing your own defenses? Pen tests or penetration tests let you do just that. Using such tools, you can simulate attacks like password spraying to identify which machines are sharing credentials. As we have seen, many attackers steal credentials through phishing, run simulations to spot which employees are vulnerable to phishing and what type of fish they're most likely to open. Step up your game with multi-factor authentication requires several pieces of evidence to log in from passwords to security tokens or even biometrics like fingerprints. The more requirements there are, the more work an attacker will have to do to gain access. While multi-factor authentication enhances security, each layer must be as strong as possible. Many MFA systems validate the first credential before requesting the second, letting attackers know if the initial credential is correct. They could then target other parts of the network, especially those without multi-factor authentication. Therefore, passwords should be complex with over 12 characters, mixing numbers, symbols, and letters. Attackers aim to stay unnoticed in bustling IT environments. Using security information and event management to monitor activity can flag an unusual amount of login attempts, alerting the security team in real time. Also, many CM solutions can automatically lock out a user after multiple failed attempts. With the complex IT environments and advanced threats, single password protection isn't enough. Security strategies should combine password tools with antivirus and threat detection. By embracing proactive and reactive measures, organizations can better protect against any threats. Remember, while employees are the most valuable asset, they are also the weakest link. Regularly train your team on password security. Run phishing simulations to keep everyone sharp. One mistake is all it takes for a cyber criminal. Thank you for watching. As always, if you find this video useful, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.